We're going to take a look today at Workday stock, a little bit about the company, and take a look at the breakout chart and some signals to look for on future breakouts. So Workday made a new 52-week high yesterday. It closed at 250.47. New 52-week high, and it's been very strong, especially with the NASDAQ 100, which has been a little bit weaker recently. Workday is a $64 billion market cap company. They're in the NASDAQ 100. They've got earnings growth projected this year at 53%, next year at 18%, and over the next five years at 30%. Now, future earnings growth obviously are just projections, but that's what analysts and the company are looking for currently. And then we can see the sales growth has been on a good trend, $2.8 billion in 2019, and then it's been growing higher to projected $6.2 billion over 2023. Workday is a software leader in the financial management, HR, and planning industry uh, for large corporations. We'll take a look at their last quarter earnings. So this is from earningswhispers.com. This was posted August 24th, and it looks like Workday had a, a good quarter they they beat on the earnings projection. They had strong earnings growth, a little bit of upside on the revenue projection, and they had good earnings growth at 16%. So overall, looks like a solid quarter from Workday. But the key thing that we want to do is take a look at the charts. So Workday was our members chart of the day, July 27th, posted on our members only Twitter page. 230 to 232. It was trading 232 and change pre-market on smaller volumes. So whenever I post the chart of the day, we, we post this every day, and this is considered a top actionable idea when it's posted. So when I posted the chart, and we're going to take a look in more detail at this exact chart, but it was trading over four rising moving averages. And then first support was the 215 to 220 range. So we're going to come back to that in a few seconds. We also made it our chart of the week for members recently, August 27th uh, at 236 and change. So I want to take a look and walk you through. This is the exact chart setup when it was posted as the chart of the day. So we made it the chart of the day, July 27th. So we're going to use the chart from the day before which is what I post for members. So it closed on July 26th, 2.30.05. So there's a couple key things to look at on this chart to look to replicate in the future. So it was trading in the upper right-hand corner of the screen over four rising moving averages. So these four rising moving averages indicate that the stock is trading in an uptrend on a 20-day average, 50-day, 100- and 200-day, so multiple time frames. It had tested a breakout here, pulled back, another breakout here, pulled back, but we've got a series, if we look at the chart, a series of higher highs, <clears throat> excuse me, and then a series of higher lows, which is the basic definition of an uptrend. And then we had a, a price base, maybe about four to six weeks, it looks like, of sideways price consolidation as buyers and sellers work their way through the price. And it was holding over a support range, also with good upside volume a few days before. So this was the chart itself before it broke out. So this is a good chart to study, to look for similar chart structures in the future. And then what we can see is when we posted it as the chart of the day, this red bar, is the chart of the day post. Traded higher, pulled back into support. Now, if you remember 215 to 220 was the support range that I specified. It traded down to 218, right in the middle of that range. We made it the chart of the week here. It had a, a nice reaction after earnings. And then it's broken out to new 52 week high. So if we look at the chart now, still trading, over four rising moving averages, good daily RSI. Now, the chart from, from right here, because remember, we posted it at 230, 232, 236. From right here, 
is the chart starting to get extended on a short-term time frame? Possibly. Could there be some pullback with the markets, NASDAQ 100 volatility? That's always possible. But the, the trend itself is very strong. And if there is any type of a pullback, then the chart would be constructive there as well. So weekly time frame, trending higher, set up nicely. Monthly time frame, trending higher, set up nicely. If there was any pullback, I'd want to see this 225 to 230 level hold on any type of a routine pullback. But overall, the chart's been a nice performer. It showed quite a few signs of a potential breakout. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to visit our website, bluechipdaily.com is the address. You can see more of our free content, more about our process. We offer a 30-day free trial, no obligation. You'll have access to full members' benefits, including the premium Twitter page, which we just looked at, our chart of the day ideas, uh, a daily markets video, and also our weekly top 25 list of which Workday has been on that list over the past few weeks. <clears throat> if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can find me at LMT978. I've been posting on Twitter for close to 11 years now. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll have a lot more content coming soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for your time.